What is up, everybody? We are back here again with RPG Maker MV. Today, we're going to be transferring rooms. We're going to be making a new map, and we're going to be showing you how to transfer to that map, that map from this map. And we're also going to be going over a couple different little fast travel styles and uh, automatic room creation. So let's go ahead and jump right into that there. We're going to right click, hit new, got a name. So we'll name this one room two, just as a just as a room, a new map, uh, tile sets, overworld, outside, inside, dungeon, SF, outside, SF, inside. Those are going to be the different tile sets you can use with each one. These, these pictures right here are your tile sets. So they have specific ones for specific maps. So we're going to choose another outside. Uh, display name. When you walk into your new map, it'll display the name on top. So we'll just write room 2 to show that. The width, 17 and 13. That's 17 width, 13 height. That's not very big, so we're going to change it and bump it up to uh, 50, 50 each. Just to give you a little idea with the uh, automatic the automatic uh, map creation. So your encounter steps, they got them set to 30. Your encounter steps is however many steps it takes for you to encounter uh, an enemy if you have it on this map. And that's your encounters right here. That's where you put your troops. You make your enemies, and then you make a group out of them called troops, where you have one enemy, or you can put two enemies to pop up. And after you make your own troops, then you can select them right here to put on different maps. So it's got autoplay background music. So you can select background music. You can choose it. You can change the volume, the pitch, all of that. We're not going to leave that. We're not going to do that for now. So, uh, specify battle pack. Autoplay background sounds, about the same just right there. And disable dashing, where you can't run. Uh, parallax background. So if you don't have your whole map taken up with all the uh, floor terrain, and you're like on like a cliff side, and you can see the sky behind you, you can put a, an, an image of a sky or clouds or a sunny day that will slowly go over, and it'll look like it's moving. It'll bring more life into your game. Uh, loop horizontally or vertically. You can do it up and down or side to side. And that'll show in the editor. You can add notes. All right. And your notes for your map will uh, will help you uh, do things specifically for that map. But we'll talk about that later. So we're going to create this new map. Now we got this big empty map. So this is our, our first map. And now we got this big empty map. So what we're going to do. We're going to go over to it, hover over room 2 right here, right-click it. Go down, generate dungeon. That's going to auto-generate a dungeon for you. Now you can do it with type rooms or a maze. So we could do rooms. Generates a dungeon consisting of rooms and passages. Maze. And this one, the description of it. It's not going to pop up. Okay, there it goes. Generates a maze-like dungeon which has no rooms. Okay, so even if you auto-generate this dungeon any way you want, you can go back and edit it if you see a couple things with it that you want to change. So right here we pick so options, add margins, and wide passages. It says it pops a little, little box for that. Okay, so add margins and make the passages wide. So we'll do we'll we'll do rooms. Uh, you pick your wall. We have this. We have the brick. We have this. 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 Hedges. Blah 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 blah. Cliffs. All of this. You can pick any any bit of this. So I'll I'll make it hedges. Now your floor. Now you pick the floor. We got grass, sand, dirt, snow, water, stone. We'll, we'll leave it at grass, but we'll do this grass. Now we're going to hit. Okay. All right. So we have this. This is our dungeon. So as you can see, if you're making a game with dungeons in it, you could start here. Have to travel through, fight your enemies. Fight your enemies, maybe a boss somewhere. And then you got loot, chests, and stuff along the way. 
and and it's a lot easier sometimes than scouring and trying to put down each individual piece when you can just auto generate it and then change something anything about it that you don't like so now we're here and obviously that dungeon kind of looks like it's a little bit more underground like uh, it's a dungeon so what we'll do is we'll go to this and they have a little a little hole right here so what we'll do is we'll take that and we'll drop nope i had the paint on we'll drop that right here okay so now we're going to add a plug in right here Double click, and this will be dungeon entrance. All right, and we will select no image because it's already got the hole there. I could have selected the hole on this image, but it's already there, it's fine. So, fixed below character. So we'll do uh same as character, just so you run into it and you know you're supposed to mess with it. All right. And what we'll do is we will show text, and we will say enter dungeon question mark. Okay. And then we will show choices for that, and yes or no is fine. Enter dungeon. When yes, then we want to movement. Right here on two in event commands, we want to transfer the player. So we will transfer the player. And now, see, we're selected on this map right here. We will click room two. And now we can pick any spot to transfer the player. So we'll start over here on this side of the dungeon. Just to, just to get, a, get a whiff of it. And when no, nothing's going to happen. And that's fine. You can leave it at that. That's it. So now, I'm going to show you this little play test here. Now, we're on our map. The little map I've created. So we go over here and we click it. Now it says enter dungeon. Yes or no? No. Nothing happens. We click yes. Now we're in the dungeon. It says room 2. Okay. Now we can go all through this dungeon. Can't go through the walls. All through this dungeon. All the way. And we've reached the end. And obviously, to get out of the dungeon, we'd put another door. Like I just did. And I'm noticing that the parallax background isn't scrolling back here. It would look a lot cooler if it did. But uh, I'll figure out how to fix that later. It's probably something really simple. But that that's how to, tr that's how to make it transfer from one map to another. And that's how to auto generate a dungeon. All right, now let's let's show you one more thing here. So what we have here is a sign, right? Ah, uh, let's put it in the graph. What we have here is a sign, right there, nice little sign. Now let's go ahead and do two things real quick. New. Uh, let's say road one. Blah, 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 blah. Let's make it outside. And we'll just say road one. Just like that. What I'm going to do real quick is paint a road. All right, we're back. Now I've painted this little road. This will be road one. That's fine. Now we have that. Now we'll go ahead, right click, new, and we'll call this road two. Do the same thing outside. Don't really need to change anything. We'll do it again. Road two. Okay. So now we'll make this road a little different. Let me paint it real quick. Be right back. Okay, and we're back. And I made a little road two here. Okay, so now we have two maps. Two maps. Now we go back to our sign here. Hit the plug in. Double click the sign. And we'll slowly sit, call this fast travel. Now, when you walk up to the sign and you click it, Set it to same as character so you can't walk over top of it. When you click it, it's going to uh, give you choices. 
church oysters. And it's going to say road one, road two, or stay. And your cancel choice is going to be number three now because that's your stay. So win road one, you're going to transfer player to road one. Click right there on road one. That's fine. Uh, and when you do this also, it's going to ask you the direction you want to be when you transfer. Uh, it says retain, but we're going to make it uh have the right direction since we're on the left side of the screen we're gonna be looking right across the road okay and now we'll just copy and paste that here and we'll edit it oh. we'll edit it right click edit and we'll just change this to road two okay perfect and when stay nothing happens we will apply that okay now we hit play we're gonna walk over here. Look at this. Inner dungeon. Nope. Over here to our sign. Road one, road two, or stay. Stay, nothing happens. Road one. We're on road one now. Go over here. Click road two. Now we're on road two. And all you do to get back is put another sign up. And you you can have it take you back to the other road. Or you can make it to where if you just walk here and step on it, it will take you back automatically. But the sign is a nice little fast travel uh, indication. It gives a little bit more life and interactability to your game. Anyways, that is all for today. You have learned how to generate a dungeon. You have learned about maps. You've learned how to fast travel. And you've learned how to set your destination for when you go to a new map. If you uh, learned anything, like the video, hit the subscribe button. Other than that, Trick Ghoul, out.